Now it's time to sharpen your skis. We're going to be working with a side edge guide in order to set the side edge uh, sharpness for the ski. Uh, this is a three degree guide and it has a clamp built in. It's important to use a side edge guide with a clamp that's very sturdy when filing to keep the file from moving. Also, when we file, we wanna make sure that we're using a file that's essentially the same size as the guide itself. If you're using a long file like this, it's gonna hang up from point to point and it won't cut very well and it might not keep the geometry correct with the ski. So what we're gonna do is take a file like this, snap it in half on the edge of the bench, and then we'll end up with a piece of file that we can clamp it's gonna follow the geometry of the ski. It's gonna be a lot easier to handle. So I have that clamped in place and it's very sturdy and it's ready to sharpen the ski. It's important before we sharpen with our file that we make sure that that sidewall material has been removed. So you can check out our sidewall removal video if you don't know that procedure. As we sharpen the ski over time, that edge is gonna get closer to the sidewall material. So it's important probably every third or fourth time that you're sharpening that you go back and remove that sidewall material to make sure it's out of the way. At this point, we're ready to sharpen the skis. But before we can do the work with the file, we need to make sure we prep the edge and remove any burrs from training. When you hit a rock or a stone on the course, or out free skiing, it creates a, a case hardened edge. And the only way to remove that is with a diamond stone. So we're gonna use a 200 grit diamond stone to prep the edge for sharpening. So I'll go ahead and put my gloves on. And I have a three degree guide with a spring clamp, my 200 grit diamond stone, and run that up and down the edge and remove any of those case hardened burrs. Now at this point, you're ready to use your file. When I file, I like to work in small sections and I make sure I pull the same amount of material off of the tip and on down the ski so I maintain the geometry of the ski. A lot of people make the mistake of removing less material in the tips and tails and more underfoot. And over the year, they'll actually add side cut to the skis. So just be aware of how much material you remove down the length of the ski. So now we're ready to sharpen the ski. We'll take our file guide, place it against the base of the ski firmly, and we'll push in with our right hand and push down with our left hand to hold it safely in place and pull towards you. Uh, you wanna make sure that you're not holding it with one hand it's a big mistake a lot of junior tuners make when they slip off and cut their hands. It's just much more safe to do it with two hands. So we'll start in the tip and make four pulls. Move into the next section. Four more pulls. And keep moving with that motion. So we're off the end of the ski. I'll keep a little bit of fiber lean in my pocket to remove any of the debris from tuning and check the ski for sharpness. And at this point, you're ready to go through the diamond stone progression to clean up the burr that we created with hand filing. 